Okay, so you guys have seen my office tour that I did at our old house. Well, I am at our new house now. This is still just like, honestly, like it's like a shit show in here, but I wanted to show you guys that you guys can see the progression of how the office is gonna be coming together. So, um, the one thing I'm excited about this office is on the second level, so I have a lot more sunlight in here. It's a lot more bright, airy, which I feel like revives you, it makes you feel more inspired, and it's just like refreshing. So I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what I got going on so far furniture wise and rugs, that's really all there is. Um, and then we'll make little videos as we go along of is how everything is progressing. So in the room here we have, don't these knobs are really ugly that we're on this, so I'm changing those, but this is gonna end up being like a packing station. So like when you order books off my website or things like that, I can store them in there, pack them there, it's out of the way. And the reason I like that is because with it being out of the way, when I normally shoot videos and content, um, you won't see any of this because it's like, just, you know, junk. So when I shoot stuff, you'll see me behind my desk. So um, this is the desk. I found the desk and the other pieces of furniture I'll show you. I found them on Perigold, P-E-R-I-G-O-L-D. Um, it's the Hooker brand furniture. I think they call Rustic Glam. So um, I like this, this is a writer's desk. I wanted a writer's desk in this office because I don't really like the big heavy executive desks. I wanted something that's just like clean and just really just like a table um, that didn't have a lot of shelves and things like that. It's got the three drawers behind it, but other than that, um, I just wanted something nice and clean. The chair I found on um, Wayfair, W-A-Y-F-A-I-R, and I love it because the wood kind of matched, like not exact, but it's got that like worn look to it. It's a chocolate, or a cho this, is, this is chocolate now. No, um, it's like a, maybe I'm hungry. It's a gray velvet. Um, it's super soft and the rollers are good. I didn't get the thing that goes down on the floor yet for the rollers, but um, it's a super comfortable chair. So um, if you kind of, can you come around here, Tony? You can kind of see the fronts on these. It's like a mirror in a sense um, on the drawers. And then it came with these fun little dividers in here to keep everything nice and organized. Um, just to keep all my secrets in, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> this would be for like your mouse on your computer or something like that if you wanted to use it like that. So that's the desk. Um, over here, I found this at World Market. My new branding, by the time you see this, it'll probably be out, is going to have some navy in it, gold, um, blush, and you know, a little gray. I found this at World Market the other day. I don't, it's not gonna hang up here. I just thought it'd be really good in here. I needed some art. So I'm gonna find a home for this somewhere. And then over here is the credenza that I got that matches the desk with all this crap on top. Um, but this thing's cool because it's got the filing, locking filing cabinet, you have your drawer up here. And then on this side is where I can put, let me move this here. I can put my printer here, just move the shelf up. So that way the printer's just not like sitting out or anything like that. Um, and I was actually going to, so my one thing that I didn't think about when I got the desk is the outlets are against the wall. And my desk is in the, kind of in the middle of the room, so like I didn't want a lot of cords and stuff hanging down. And I work from my laptop most of the time. So what I'm actually gonna do is make the top of this almost like a little charging station where I can have my laptop charger at, and I'll have my label printer for my book orders and stuff. Um, I'll have that set up over here, so that when it's ready to go, all I do is come over, I can plug it in, and it's gonna spit out the labels, and I can charge my laptop over here so I don't have like all these cords and stuff like hanging down. Like I just don't like that look and there's no way to camouflage it. So that's how I'm, I think I'm gonna make this work. Um, oh, sorry guys, forgot to move my box here. Okay, that's all art, art stuff to hang up. This is a bookcase that I found that matches the rest of the set. The most cool thing about this is it's, a, it's got a light. Where is it? You just touch this little metal thing and then the light comes on. I don't know why I'm like so easily amused, I guess. But anyway, um, so this bookshelf, um, it was all individually sold. So if you just need one piece or the other, it was great. Really good price. It's super heavy and durable. And it was like white glove service where they come in, bring it in, and you don't have to mess with the boxes or go in and pick it up or anything like that. Um, this has got the three glass shelves and then two solid shelves. And this is gonna be obviously for my books and then just put some decor and stuff like that on it. And then all this stuff over here is, I don't know what, it's like Area 51. It's just like a lot of weird stuff over here that I haven't unpacked yet that was upstairs at our old house. So that I really don't have anything else going on in here yet. Oh, except the rug, get the pretty rug. <laughs> I got the rug um, from Paragold, I think. Yeah, Paragold, that when I said that I got the desk from P-E-R-I-G-O-L-D. And again, it's just, it's super plush. I have a rug pad underneath it. 
And I'm gonna be shopping for like two chairs to put here. So whenever I have people over, I have meetings, um, it just adds a little bit of warmth to the space. Plus, because when I talk and do videos like this, you, there's gonna, it's gonna eliminate that echo because I don't plan on putting any like window treatments up because I want all the natural light in here for shooting bright content. Um, so I needed something to kind of buffer like the echoes and stuff. So that's really all I got going on in here so far. So I'll make a video in another couple weeks and show you guys where I'm at with everything, um, and then we'll go from there. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions about anything or suggestions for stuff that I might like to put in here, leave a comment below, and I will get back to you. Thanks, guys.